Did you know some of your favorite Hallmark actors traded in their scripts for pens? From heartfelt tales and life stories, here are some of the books penned by Hallmark actors. And who better to start the list than this actor who has charmed audiences time and again? Christopher Palaha has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry across both television and film platforms. Born on February 18, 1977, in Reno, Nevada, Palaha's career gained momentum with notable roles that showcased his acting prowess. That he wanted to write his own romance novel, so I know you and your writing so partner did. Uh, did just that. Moments like this. One of Palaha's early breakthroughs came with his portrayal of Jason Matthews in the television series North Shore, where he exhibited charisma and talent. His subsequent role as Nathaniel Bayes Basile in Life Unexpected further solidified his presence in the television landscape. Palaha's captivating performances continued with his role as Henry Butler in Ringer, demonstrating his ability to tackle diverse characters with depth and authenticity. Beyond the small screen, Palaha made significant contributions to the big screen, starring in films like Devil's Knot, Wonder Woman 1984, and Jurassic World Dominion. His on-screen presence and compelling performances have endeared him to audiences worldwide. Hollywood, and this is what I'm going to do. I want to make some movies. And the goal was like make as cheap movie, make them as cheap as you can, make as much money as you can. So sure. that's the, that's my mission. Here, he shares what motivated him to write his new novel, Moments Like This. In addition to his acting career, Polaha is a talented author who has ventured into the literary world with two books, Moments Like This. 2021, the first book in the From Kona with Love series, delves into multicultural romance, love, loss, and redemption against the backdrop of the beautiful Hawaiian Islands. The protagonist, Andy Matthews, faces career dilemmas and unexpected connections, creating a narrative that intertwines the complexities of life and love. Following the success of his debut novel, Polaha released Where the Sun Rises in 2022, a poignant tale set on the island of Kauai. The story revolves around the lives of Maele Moana and Adam Yates, two broken individuals who find solace and love amidst their personal struggles. The palpable chemistry between the characters adds depth to the narrative, making Where the Sun Rises a compelling exploration of human connection and resilience. In both his acting and writing, Christopher Polaha continues to captivate audiences, leaving an enduring legacy in the world of entertainment and literature. All right, so Alexa Pena Vega, born on August 27, 1988, is not just the cool Spy Kids Carmen Cortez, she's also a singer, and let's be honest, a pretty awesome human being. So she and her hubby Carlos Penavega talked about their wild ride in their book, What If Love Is The Point? Living for Jesus in a Self-Consumed World. From red carpets, Spy Kids, and Big Time Rush, to waltzing on Dancing With The Stars, Tying The Knot, and now Rocking Parenthood, these two have seen it all. The Pena Vegas get real about how God shaped their young faith into lasting place. love. She shares how important role like faith plays in her life. They drop some wisdom about putting God at the center of relationships, family, and career. Plus, they dish out on why society's expectations are like a bad Netflix show, never fulfilling our true needs. And if you're feeling burnt out from the daily grind, They've got ideas on how to kick back and find that elusive true rest. It didn't happen. Love you. What if love is the point was a question that Lex and I wrestled with for a long time. I remember we had one. Behind the scenes, it wasn't all glitz and glamour. Carlos battled Hollywood struggles and heartbreaks, while Alexa dealt with an eating disorder and a divorce. Real talk. What's the point of all the fame and fortune anyway? And the way it happened is so awesome. I mean, God just totally, we didn't force it, and he kept putting no, people the timing in our was lives. Right. But here's the plot twist. They end up at the same Bible study. They meet people who are genuinely satisfied with life, find new friends who are basically besties with God, and of course, each other. Together, they figure out that God has the answers to their deep questions and unspoken longings. Fast forward, they're happily married with three kiddos, shouting from the rooftops where they found true joy, in Jesus. And because once isn't enough, they drop a second book, Love is the Point, taking you on a 100-day journey to spot all the ways God dishes out love in your daily life. Because, you know, love in action is what life is all about. Oh, and if you've got little ones in the house, they've even got a kid's adventure story called Ocean's World. Ocean and his bro Kingston explore Maui, hunting for a sunrise shell for their mom's birthday. It's a family affair with the Penavegas. Before we move on to the next actor, today's member shout-out goes to Cindy Berkey, 
Thanks for being our number one fan. If you want a shout out, become a member today. Now back to the video. Up next we have Allison Sweeney, born on September 19th, 1976, and she isn't your average Hollywood starlet. She's an American actress, reality show host, director, and now a three-time author. You probably remember her best as the sassy Samantha Sammy Brady on Days of Our Lives. She owned that role from 93 to 2014, bagging awards left and right. How do you think Austin is going to feel when he finds out that his mother was nothing but a high-priced call girl? A woman who sold herself to the high- Then, just when you thought she was taking a break, bam! She strutted back into our lives as a regular on Days of Our Lives in 2021, proving she's like the cool friend who never really leaves your side. But let's not forget her stint as the ringmaster on The Biggest Loser from 2007 to 2015. She whipped those contestants into shape with a mix of tough love and real talk, making us all want to hit the gym, or at least consider it. Now here's the cool part. She's not just ruling the screen, she's slaying the writing game too. Allison's first book, Opportunity Knocks, follows the story of makeup artist Alex Cleary navigating the tricky world of media alongside the infamous Hillary P. It's like a backstage pass to the chaos behind the glamour. Here she talks about what inspired her to write the book. I think as an actress, we're storytellers right, too, right? right and we're right. part of that. And there's something so satisfying about telling stories. But um... Then there's Scared Scriptless, where we meet Maddie Carson, a script supervisor in Hollywood. She's got a rule, no actors. But spoiler alert, rules are meant to be broken. Cue the laughter, drama, and a peek into the TV biz. Editor, insert clip. In the star attraction, Sweeney dives into the life of Hollywood publicist Sophie fab job, fab boyfriend, and a steamy makeout session with her actor client, Billy Fox. Drama much. It's like a soap opera on steroids, and we're here for it. Sweeney is not just living the Hollywood dream, she's making us all want to grab life by the horns and add a few more slashes to our resumes. From daytime soaps to reality TV, and now author extraordinaire, Allison's career is like a roller coaster ride, and we're all strapped in for the adventure with her, and she is acing it. Moving on to the next actress, gather round because we're diving into the life of someone pretty darn awesome, Cole, the Texas-born Dynamo. Back in high school at Mirabeau B. Lamar, she wasn't just rocking the Junior Olympics volleyball squad, she was also strutting her stuff as a model. I mean, who knew you could be both a sports ace and a runway queen? Cole did, apparently. I'm back. <laughs> oh good, because we need you for the- Fast forward to the Big Apple, the city of dreams. Cole decided to spice things up and took her modeling game to the next level in New York. You might have even seen her flashing that winning smile in ads for Crest Toothpaste, Old Spice, and the chic Dooney and Bork handbags. Now, here's the juicy part. Cole wasn't just a model, she's also a wordsmith. She's penned a holiday read that promises to be the ultimate rom-com for anyone who loves a good laugh and a dash of romance. If you're into Emily Henry and Josie Silver vibes, this one's for you. Picture this, Candace, a hopeless romantic, meets Alexis, a writer. Classic, right? But hold on, plot twist. Alexis has been using their budding romance as material for the romantic novel he's struggling to write. Sneaky move, Alexis, but it gets better. Alexis pops the question, not that kind though. He wants Candace to help him cook up the perfect romance novel for his publisher, and in return, she gets a backstage pass to the making of the magic. Add Alexis's agent, Daniel, into the mix, and you've got a trio embarking on a wild summer adventure. Candace becomes the love guru, trying to school these guys on the ABCs of a successful romance. It's like a rom-com squared, filled with laughs, love, and maybe a bit of surfing drama on the Cornish coast. Perfect combo of everything. Last but not least, on to the most talented actress ever, who has a strong love for math. Danica McKellar, Math Doesn't Suck, How to Survive Middle School, Math Without Losing Your Mind or Breaking a Nail by Danica McKellar isn't just a math book. It's a revolutionary guide, breaking down barriers for middle school girls, empowering them to conquer the often intimidating world of mathematics. With the backdrop of a national math education crisis, McKellar takes center stage as a beacon of inspiration for young girls, challenging societal norms and stereotypes that math isn't for them. In seventh grade, I hit a stumbling block. I got really confused about math and I would come home and I would cry because I was afraid of my math homework. And midway through the year, the school switched out. At the heart of McKellar's mission is a fierce determination to defy the narrative that tells girls they can't do math 
or that being smart isn't cool. In a society where social conditioning starts influencing beliefs as early as middle school, it's crucial to have strong female role models like McKellar, showing that it's not just okay to be smart, it's downright awesome. So I uh, started a website where I answered people's math questions just because I couldn't stay away from math. Dubbed a math superstar by the New York Times, McKellar breaks down complex math concepts with an approach that is not just educational, but also fun and relatable. The book is a toolkit for both girls and their parents, providing them with the necessary tools to navigate the tricky terrain of middle school math. From fractions to percentages to pre-algebra, McKellar demystifies the subject, making it accessible and engaging. What sets this book apart is its real-world relevance. McKellar seamlessly weaves in hip, real-world examples, offering step-by-step -step instructions that resonate with the middle school experience. To make it even more relatable, she shares her own childhood struggles with math, proving that even someone who later earned the title of math superstar had her own moments of uncertainty. But it's not just about the lessons. McKellar infuses the book with creativity. There's a math horoscope section, because hey, why not bring a bit of astrological fun into math? Math personality. Quizzes add an interactive element, making the learning experience personalized and enjoyable. Real-life testimonials further drive home the message that math isn't just about numbers on a page. It's a skill that opens doors and shapes futures. And was a bestseller from the moment it hit the shelves. The printing guy said, what's going on? Why do we keep printing new editions of the book? In Math Doesn't Suck, Danica McKellar isn't just teaching math. She's rewriting the narrative for an entire generation of young girls. Through accessible instruction, relatable stories, and a sprinkle of creativity, McKellar is making math not just survivable, but enjoyable and empowering. It's not just a book, it's a movement, breaking down stereotypes one math problem at a time. Girls, you've got this. So, which of these books did you find interest in? Which actor surprised you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you haven't already. And consider becoming a member for exclusive shoutouts. Any support, big or small, means the world to our channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time.